Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Infamous for the PS3. That's right, today we're testing out the RPCS3 emulator once again on my Intel Core. Why did I say Intel Core? The Ryzen 7 1700 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory. And as you can see, I just tested it with the i7 before performance didn't even come close to this it's crazy with the R the Ryzen 7 1700 this is almost I would say this is playable I wouldn't even say almost compared to what the i7 was doing as you saw with the previous video this is playable this runs look at it it's even hitting 30 FPS at certain points in time I wouldn't recommend it still I don't think this is ready all the same but it runs a lot better we're clocked at 3.7 gigahertz here and it does the job for the most part but it does struggle all the same eight cores and 16 threads but infamous just isn't fully up isn't optimized enough yet on rpcs3 none of the major exclusives are realistically uncharted the last of us none of them are but we you know they come closer with this type of hardware it really shows like eight cores and 16 threads really helps out when you're dealing with you're dealing with emulation man my, my gosh the performance here is night and day it's so much more I remember having terrible audio issues and crap like at least here it runs somewhat decently most of the time like, look at this hitting 30 like this isn't really possible for me with the i7 Truly amazing. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. It's Infamous, man. It runs. I've never played the original Infamous. I only started. I missed my journey started with Infamous 2, and thank you, it did, because I remember Infamous. It kind of sucks comparatively. But look at it 30 FPS all around the board in certain areas. Like, it's crazy. The, art, the Ryzen is being pushed here, as you can tell, though. And it just doesn't have any more juice to squeeze out. We're only using 5 gigs around. It's not bad. I don't know if you would want to play this at this rate. I wouldn't. I don't think it's, it's, it's there. But like I said, it is, it's better than the i7. So going forward emulation wise, this is where I will be testing all of my emulated games. Just to put that out there. Obviously, this is the better place. Infamous still has this audio stuttering issue though. So keep that in mind. It's not great. The i7 was doing it way worse though. Not playable. Unless you really want to play Infamous, I guess. But I ran decently. All things considered. Some years we were getting 30 FPS. That's not something that normally happens, but anyway, I'm just going to mute myself now, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay. It is surprising that we can achieve this with this setup, man. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in fires. Trish lost her sister. Almost lost me. Zeke was always there. I'm not sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck. Civilization committed suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city. And they were stuck in this cage for centuries. Cops are all but gone off the streets. Either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things here. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside of me, something was beginning. Scale would help at first. Gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it. Master it. And it's not too late.
Stop me from taking half that old bitch. Hell no, it ain't. Snakes gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express lane. Thank you. 